70 years ago, there was a great war between the empires of Earth, the Central Empire, the United Allies, and the Kingdom Alliance. The war destroyed Earth, forcing the survivors into the void of space. The warring empires have stripped you of your humanity, taking all that you have. Your possessions, your own, your family, gone. Once you were civil, now a rage-fueled and ruthless marauder. It's the 1990s and you are trapped in space in a dystopian, diesel punk universe. Plunge into the cold darkness of space and take back what's yours. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill out, man. You need to blow a hole in the side of the ship. We're in space. Anyway, in this episode of the Extraction Review series, I'm going to cover the game Marauders. In this review, I'm going to cover things like the content, bugs, cheaters, and I'm going to end with the Extraction Review rating. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. All right, Marauder, I know you're eager to get out there, but first, you're going to need a gun. With the destruction of Earth, we have a limited supply and only seem to have weapons, mostly from World War II. You've got your SMGs like the Uzi and PPSH. You've got automatic rifles like the STG-44 and BAR. There's pistols, rifles, or maybe buckshot is more your style. Maybe throw on a couple attachments while you're at it, like the extended mags, stops, and suppressors to improve your odds. Next, let's put some metal on you. Can't have you getting one tapped out the gates. Our armor is ranked with a numerical value. The higher you go, the better it is generally. Armor comes in three forms, helmets, body armor, and armored rigs. Oh, and don't forget to bring a big bag for all that loot. Make sure you bring plenty of food and water for when your stamina runs low. As for meds, you're gonna need something to stop the bleeds like bandages, and something more substantial for the larger injuries. Maybe even a couple painkillers to get you out of a sticky situation. Alright, you're almost ready to go, Marauder. The last thing we need is to select your ship. Ships come in all shapes and sizes with different artillery. Just make sure you got the dough. If another Marauder out there kills you and takes your ship, it's theirs. As is the way. Alright, let's get you out there. Depending on how you look at it, there's around 8 places to raid. And it takes about 1-2 to two minutes to get into the raid. Places like Iridium Asteroid Mines, Naval Outposts, and Damaged Capital Ships. All filled with miners and commandos who are as dumb as a bot. I swear, they don't even seem human. Watch out for other marauders. It's survival of the fittest. You can fight them in space using your ship or on the ground. Reach their ship to meet them face to face and take their gear. You can bring up the three other crewmates along for the ride for some added security. There are also faction bosses lurking about like the Red Baron. Feeling froggy? Well, take him on. While you're out there, keep an eye out for your raid-specific missions, as well as your contracts. Advancing through the contracts will reward you with gear, cosmetics, recipes, and other valuable items. Reach level 50 and proceed, starting back at square one. As a reward, you can get a bigger stack size, get the loadout space, or cosmetics for your efforts. Once your bags are full and you're looking to get out, head for the extraction gates. The gates are available after a certain amount of time or triggered by an in-game item or button. You've got 25 minutes of O2. Once the gates are triggered, get out before you run out of oxygen. If you want to run a quick solo raid, choose the raider mode, where all you need to do is loot and get to the escape pod. No flying lessons required. Alright, this helmet is getting really, really annoying. I'm gonna take this thing off. When you're out of raid, you can store your loot in your stash or sell them to the traders. Bartering is also an option. Keep some of the junk to craft items like weapon attachments, armor, and tools. When you're out there in the vastness of space, it's unlikely for you to encounter things not working properly or other marauders not behaving like a human. All of our guns, armor, ships, and opportunities as a marauder are manufactured by Small Impact Games, which clearly has done a great job at limiting those nuisances. From time to time, you will encounter a system crash or an aimbot terminator, but the odds are very low. Some people have reported spawning in with loot not equipped, it, killing somebody and not being able to loot them. And I'm sure there's more out there, but I personally haven't suffered from any of these issues. How many times can you loot, 
kill, extract, rinse, and repeat before you get over this way of life. Well, for a price of $30 off of Steam, enough. The contract list is extensive and provides a goal other than the usual Marauder way of life. The areas of space we raid changes with chance encounters. The stations and ships are large enough to plunder and explore. There are leaderboards with seasonal rewards for the top players. And as mentioned earlier, you can prestige. There's enough content to keep you entertained for tens of hours, but there's a limit. I personally couldn't dump hundreds of hours in this game. It's not hard to find the best guns and armor, and you can chat out very quickly if you know what you're doing. The game is currently struggling to maintain a positive player count. The player count seems to be decreasing, ranging in the hundreds of players a day. When events like content drops and wipes occur, the player count does pick up, but only for a short time. You can run into the same people multiple times a day, so unfortunately, the game is dying. Being a Marauder is a tough life, and more complicated than most fast-paced shooters. Impatience or impulsiveness will not serve you well out here. The atmosphere is diesel punk space World War II. If you don't like these kinds of things, then it's not for you. The community is definitely small too. There are not many viewers based on the Twitch page, but on YouTube content creators are still actively posting content. Here are my pros and cons to Marauders. For the pros, the game's original. The atmosphere is dark and space gritty. There's not a lot of hackers, there's not a lot of bugs, and it's pretty affordable. For the cons, it's a small community, and it's not growing and actually going in the opposite direction, and there's okay replayability. For the extraction rating, I give it a 6.5 out of 10. Now don't get me wrong, I enjoy this game and I still play it, but unfortunately, the game is dying. I hope that the developers keep pushing out content, keep pushing out updates, and more people take up the Marauder way of life, because it's a very fun game. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you back at the kill cam. See ya.